Brent Brennan and crew are back for the 2022 season and they've got a new star at quarterback. Hi everyone, I'm Bridget Howard here inside the Mountain West Network studio with what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the San Jose State Spartan. Following an impressive career at Hawaii that included 6,167 passing yards and 45 touchdown passes thrown, Shevin Cordero is headed to the mainland and bringing his dual threat playmaking abilities to a San Jose State team that's eager to watch him shine. There's so much big play in him because he can be effective standing there and throwing from the pocket. He can be effective throwing on the run. He can be crazy dangerous when he like escapes uh, and, and is like playing football on the run and his ability to create makes him really, really dangerous that way. It's a lot of fun. So I kind of knew what kind of team they were playing against them for the past three years. Um, I knew they had a lot of talent. I knew what kind of coach Coach Brennan was. Uh, he's, he was a player, he's a player's coach. I knew that I was going to have fun under him. Uh, I was going to love the game. Um, and that was the main thing, was just being able to have fun again. Nevada transfer Justin Lockhart headlines an impressive group of wideouts for the Spartans this season. In his three seasons with the Wolfpack, Lockhart recorded 744 yards and four touchdown receptions. Isaiah Hamilton, Elijah Cooks, and Jermaine Braddock round out a wide receiver core that has both Brent Brennan and quarterback Shevin Cordero excited about the offense this season. You know, Ham's been the guy that's been a consistent player for the last four years for us. You know, really steady. But then you add Elijah Cooks and Justin, Justin Lockhart, and you know, Ham's like best friend, Jermaine Braddock. Like, so that group is like starting to get get pretty solid. And obviously, Ham and and Braddock are, are growing up, and so like that group, so you have um, some really explosive guys and, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I got new transfers, uh, uh, Elijah and uh, Justin, and uh, I mean especially the O-line, the O-line's um, looking good this year, we got running backs, tight ends, I mean um, our offense is looking good, uh, we should have a good season and uh, we just got to I mean, work hard at fall camp, uh, um, get, get together and just glue and uh, I mean that should be good. San Jose State returns its leading tackler from 2021 in Kyle Harmon. The senior linebacker recorded 133 tackles, six tackles for loss, and one sack last fall. A two-time first-team All-Mountain West selection, Harmon was third in the nation in tackles per game with 11.1 in 2021. The way he approaches being a great player is so consistent and so methodical and meticulous, and it plays out when the game is played, right, because he watches so much film, he's so consistent with his nutrition and his sleep and all, all these things that give you a chance to be physically ready for what the game's going to ask of him. We have a lot of talent on our defense. We have a lot of experience. And uh, with that experience brings, you know, confidence. I haven't been there, done this before. I think that our defense, the sky is really the limit. We play hard for each other. I think the film speaks for itself. So I think that um, there's nothing really the defense can accomplish. The Spartans' non-conference slate features two home games and two road games, including a trip to Auburn on September 10th in a meeting with former Boise State head coach Brian Harson and the Tigers. I definitely think it's a great opportunity. Auburn is a very, uh, it's, you know, it's an SEC school. Um, but at the end of the day, they put their socks on just like I do. They get out of bed just like I do, just like, you know, San Jose State, San Jose State Spartans do. So at the end of the day, you got to go out there and put the ball down and play. So uh, I think with that in mind, I like, pull back our chances. I mean, playing in front of the crowd, I never played in front of a crowd like that before. Should be exciting and uh, I mean, they're just a regular team. Uh, I mean, it should be a good game. If you're looking for a reason to be excited about the San Jose State Spartans in 2022, remember this is year six of the Brent Brennan regime. These are his recruits that became his players. These are his coaches. And most importantly, these are his coordinators that have been in place for the better part of five years. When you think about the end of the 2021 season, the Spartans went into a three game skid that saw them finish five and seven and out of bowl contention. I know the team and the coaches were disappointed and the off season push is to get back to bowl eligibility. San Jose State opens up the 2022 season at home on Thursday, September 1st versus Portland State. From the Mount West Network Studio, I'm Bridget Howard.